Hey everybody, Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media. And today I'm just gonna bring you a short little video, kind of just going over, I know it's been a little while, going over some things that uh, are going on with both the cars and going on just basically with racing and everything. Um, I know it's been a little while, so I haven't really made any videos or checked in in a while, but there's been quite a bit going on behind the scenes. So we're gonna kind of go through some of that right now. And I'll kind of just show you like the status and what we're what we're doing and where we're at. Um, so let's jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna jump right into it here, and we're gonna start over here on the Fox body. And basically, what we're working with here is we are replacing the brakes on the Fox. Um, this all kind of started back a couple months ago. Um, actually end of last season last fall after I got the motor back in the car and it was running While the motor was out. I had decided to convert to manual brakes Because uh, I figured it would be easier to do with the motor out So I put the motor back in put it all back together and everything Seems fine with the motor. However, I didn't have any brakes. The brakes were very bad. They wouldn't stop the car I didn't feel confident in driving the car or you know racing the car where they were so fast forward to now um, what I ended up having to do is these are rotors off of an SVO, uh, like an 84 to 86 Fox body, the turbo four cylinder. Um, these are a little bit bigger caliper and rotor off of that. And then here on the rears, well, they're not there right now because I've got it torn apart, but the rears are an SN95 brake setup. Unfortunately, without the booster, the manual brake setup, you can't generate enough pressure to operate those single piston uh, calipers. I don't know if you could see in there, but it's just one right here. It's just one big piston. So that doesn't work. So we had to switch up to a, a drag brake setup basically. And I kind of went back and forth between TBM and Strange. Um, a lot of people run the Strange stuff, but TBM, you know, is kind of considered to be like the best. It seems like less drag, uh, just less package, you know, maybe better performance. I'm not sure, but kind of just seems to be the industry standard. However, in my research of what I wanted to do with the brakes, I realized that there was some things with the rear end that needed to be done. So now we're back here at the rear end. I've got it torn apart. And what we've got here, um, you can see here, this is the, the pumpkin, this is the diff, and I've got it torn apart, like I said. This is not a spool. So this is a, a true track. It's a Eaton Detroit Locker true track. And if you look in there, you can see there's spider gears and stuff inside there. So while it hasn't given me, given me any problems yet, for drag racing, it's not really the best. Uh, a spool really is the best way to go with drag racing. Um, it just makes sure that both wheels are spinning at the same rate all the time, and there's really nothing to break. Um, as long as you don't break a pinion or break a uh, you know ring gear or something, break a tooth off, they're pretty indestructible. Also, this car only had 31 spline axles, and while they look fine, I think they probably would have been fine, you know, where I'm at right now, if we decide to try to make more power, um, I don't think that the 31 splines maybe were gonna hold up. So, since I wanted to replace the spool anyway, it was kind of dumb to use 31 spline axles. So what I did is I went ahead and just did a full strange package, um, strange spool, 35 spline, 35 spline axles, um, and then also Strange makes a, a drag brake kit for the front and the rear. So that's what we're gonna switch to. So I'm waiting on the parts right now. They should be here, hopefully, maybe, they should ship this week and hopefully be here maybe next week and then the following weekend. I'm thinking we can do the install. Um, so that's kind of why the car is all torn apart. Right now I've got the axles out and I gotta pull the carrier still. Um, I'll do that here the next few days. And then back to the front here, this all has to come apart, but we're gonna pull all this off and we have to modify the spindle a little bit for the strange stuff. Once we get all that in place, we have the manual strange master that should all work. And I should have pretty good brakes um, without the booster and it should be all manual. So it's just one less thing to worry about. So that's where we're at with the Fox body. Um, the motor and everything is fine. Um, we're just waiting for the brakes so that we can race the car and then the next thing after that assuming the brakes are good and everything's fixed with that the next thing would be uh, the bigger turbo to try to make more power 
Um, so let's shift gears. We'll go over here to the S550 now. Uh, we've got her ready to go. Um, she's back on. So these are the wheels that I had on the orange car that I had a few years back. I had a 2015 S550 uh, six-speed car that had a Whipple on it. Uh, these are the wheels that were on that car. Well, I never got rid of them. I never, you know, I always had them. I just didn't have any good rubber on them. Um, I am planning to do a trip with some of the local Mustang guys. We're going to go down to the Tail of the Dragon for like three or four days and drive around and do some, uh, you know, I don't want to say corner carving because they're 4,000 pound cars, but, you know, a little bit of spirited driving on some curvy roads and just have fun and, you know, kick back for three or four days and should be a good time. However, I didn't want to go and do that on these, which is the, the drag wheels and the skinnies. So the skinnies are up there um, and the drag wheels are right here. We couldn't go on those because obviously they're not gonna do very well in corner carving. Um, so what we did is we went ahead and just put these, we picked up some Nitto 555 G2s. I know they're not the best performance tire or whatever, but for what I'm doing with the car, I'm not a super crazy aggressive driver. They're gonna be fine. Um, and then I've still got on the fronts, it's still got the, what was on it before, which is a Mickey, either a Sportsman, Comp Sportsman front. Uh, it's a 285 front and a 305 rear um looks pretty good i'm pretty happy with the stance of the car with those on it um i always liked the wheels when i had them on the orange car so yeah pretty happy with that and so that car is ready pretty much ready to go for tail of the dragon uh we did just do a fresh oil change on it so it's all good to go and ready to go carve some some roads um in the garage here we did a little bit of work in the garage too i don't know if you guys Never really addressed it in the videos, I don't think. Um, but it was kind of dark and dingy, kind of a cave before. And so I went ahead and picked up these eight foot long uh, lights here off of Amazon. They're a 6,500K color, uh, 100 watt equivalent LED light strips. Went ahead and put those all up. Um, so we got a lot more light now in the garage. And I do have some more I'm planning to put over here on this side probably up here with these lights or maybe back there. I don't know if I can get all the way up there to the very top. It's pretty high up there. Um, but I'm gonna try to put some more over here on this side as well. So that's kind of an update on the garage. Other than that, not really a whole lot has changed in here. Um, yeah. So kind of just a, an update. Um, let you see my beautiful face again. Uh, it's kind of where we're at. Like I said, we're, I'm going to try to video as much of this coming up as I can. Uh, when we do ready to do the brakes and when I put the rear end back together, I'll video all that and we'll kind of talk about it and go through it. And then obviously on the tail of the dragon trip and the S550, I'm going to do some video for that too and do some GoPro. I'd like to try to pick up, uh, an Instacam 360 X3 thing that goes on the back window. Uh, we'll see. They're kind of expensive. Uh, I may see if I can get one and be able to have some footage from the dragon. So um, that's it for right now, I think. Uh, that may be the end of the video. If I don't jump back in, then that'll be the end of it. And we'll see you, we'll see you next time.